Hello, dear students. This is an English lesson for grade 5. Our topic today is Summer is here. My colleague Katarina Duhovic and I prepared this lesson together, but I will be your teacher today. My name is Ondina Sambolek. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to name some words related to summer, like summer activities, weather, and clothes and footwear. You will be able to use question words correctly, and you will be able to write an email to your friend about your summer holidays. For today's lesson, you need a notebook and a pencil, a mobile phone or a laptop with internet connection, and you need a QR code scanner. Have in mind that at any time you can pause this video lesson to do all your tasks and then just play it again. Dear students, let's start with our lesson today. Do you like summer? What is your favorite thing when it comes to summer? Think about it. I really like summer. It's my favorite time of the year. The weather is really nice. I can do many different outdoor activities and I can wear my favorite clothes. Your task now is to copy this table into your notebooks and write three or four words related to summer activities, weather, clothes and footwear in summer. Pause the lesson now and do the task. After you finish, play it again. I hope that you have finished with your task. When I think of summer activities, I think of swimming, water skiing, sunbathing and diving. As I mentioned earlier, the weather is really nice in summer. It is usually sunny and hot, but it can also be windy and rainy. In summer, we usually wear shorts, t-shirts and flip-flops or sandals. We'll start with summer activities first. You can see here three pictures and three words related to summer activities. Your task is to match these words with the correct pictures. Have you finished? Let's do it together. The first activity is water skiing. Well done. The next one is diving and the last one is snorkeling. Let's do it again. Match the words you see, swimming, surfing and sailing with the correct pictures. The first one is easy. Swimming, of course. Then we have sailing in the middle and the last one is surfing. Well done, fifth graders. And one more time. Look at the first activity. Eating ice cream. Then we have sightseeing in the middle and the last summer activity here is sunbathing. What's the weather like in summer? I will show you some pictures. Your task is to say what the weather is like. Say it out loud. Look at the first picture. What's the weather like? That's right. It's sunny. What's the weather like here? It's hot, of course. What about in this picture? What's the weather like? It's warm. Weather in summer is usually hot, sunny or warm. But take a look at this picture. What's the weather like here? Do you know? 
pink cloudy. What's the weather like here? It's windy. What's the weather like? It's rainy. As you can see, the weather in summer can be cloudy, windy, or rainy too. What do you usually wear in the summer? What's your favorite summer outfit? I usually wear t-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops. I have one more task for you. Look at these pictures. I will read the words you see on the right side of the screen, and your task is to point to the correct picture. Are you ready? Let's start. Sandals. Flip-flops. A t-shirt. Short. Swimming trunks, a skirt, a swimsuit, a dress. Well done. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use question words correctly. Why don't we learn then what question words are? Well, they are words we use to ask questions. We also call them WH questions because they include letters W and H. The most common question words we use in English are who, where, why, when, which, whose, how, and what. We use question word who to ask about people. So we use it only when we refer to people. Who is this? Or who is dancing? Here are some questions for you. Who in your family likes swimming? Who likes sunbathing? Or who likes diving? In my family, my sister likes sunbathing and my daughter likes diving. So we use question word who to ask about people. We use question word when to ask about time. We want to know the time. When is your birthday? When do you get up? When do you usually have lunch? At what time do you have it? Do you know when your summer holidays start? They start in June, don't they? We use question word how old to ask about age. How old are you? There are many other expressions that we use with how. How far refers to distance. For example, how far can you swim? How long refers to length and duration. How long do the summer holidays last? They last two and a half months, don't they? How many 
refers to quantity. How many t-shirts have you got? So how many t-shirts have you got? 10 or 15? We use question word which to ask about the choice, when we need to make a choice. Which summer activity do you like? Swimming or diving? I like swimming more. Which is your favorite clothing item? A t-shirt or shorts? Which is your favorite footwear? Sandals, flip-flops or trainers? We use question word what to ask for specific information. What is this? Or what is your name? What do you think about summer? What can you do in summer? Or another example, what is your favorite season? So we use what when we need to know some specific information. We use question word where to ask about a certain place. Where are you? Where do you live? Where can you eat delicious food? In a restaurant, of course. Where do you keep your clothes? That's right, in a wardrobe. Where do you spend your summer holidays? We use question word whose to ask about possession. Whose car is it? Or whose teddy bear is it? Whose flip-flops are in the sea? Here are some more examples. Whose dress is this? It's my mom's dress. Or whose shoes are in my wardrobe? We use question word why to ask for a reason or an explanation. Why are you sad? Or why are you crying? Here are some questions for you. Why do you wear t-shirts and shorts in summer? Well, because it's hot and sunny, right? Why do you like summer holidays? I really hope that you have listened carefully. Scan these QR codes or copy the links you see on the screen bit.ly slash question words and practice the question words that we have just talked about. Dora is a girl from Croatia and she has written an email to Jenny about her summer holidays. On the right side of the screen, you can see some question words. Your task is to write questions about Dora's holidays using those question words. There are some underlined sentences in Dora's email that can help you. Pause the lesson now, read the email, and write the questions in your notebooks. Have you finished? Let's check. Here are the questions. Where is Dora? Who is she with? What's the weather like? What is Dora doing at the moment? What is she wearing? What does Dora do every day? If you want, you may answer the questions. Pause the lesson again and write the answers in your notebooks. Now let's check your answers. Where is Dora? Dora is on the island of Rab. Who is she with? She is with her grandma and grandpa. What's the weather like? The weather is very hot and sunny. What is Dora doing at the moment? 
She is sitting on the beach and drinking juice. What is she wearing? She is wearing her new yellow dress. What does Dora do every day? She swims and she goes snorkeling every day. Now, dear fifth graders, imagine that you are on your holidays. Where are you? Who are you with? What's the weather like? What are you doing at the moment? What are you wearing? What do you do every day? Now think about these questions and write an email about your summer holidays. So your task is to write an email about your summer holidays. Go through the questions from the previous slide one more time. In your email, ask your teacher or a friend about his or her holidays. Send your email to your teacher and to me if you want to, using the QR code or the link you see on the screen. Be very careful with the spelling and have fun. We have come to the end of our lesson today. Put a tick or a cross next to the statements that are true for you. I can name summer activities, clothes, footwear and weather. I can use question words in the sentences and I can write an email according to the given template. Goodbye, dear students, and enjoy your summer holidays.